All right, welcome back to the OBS Super User Guidebook online course. In this video, we're looking at captioning and you can display lower thirds of what you're speaking during your live stream for accessibility or you can stream transcripts directly to YouTube and Facebook and other websites using webcaptioner.com. So we're gonna go over that in this video. Oh. What's up guys, really quickly, just wanna remind everybody, you can get a free copy of the OBS Super User Guidebook in the links below. You can get a paperback copy on Amazon. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to learn more about video production, why don't you subscribe, hit the red button. If we're doing something wrong, let us know in the comments below. Or if you have any questions, I'll be happy to reply. It makes a big deal if you guys subscribe. Only about 10% of our viewers do subscribe and we'd love to have you on board. Video. All right, so Web Captioner is a free captioning tool that is super easy to use, and I'm gonna show you how. We're just gonna go to webcaptioner.com and we are gonna click Start Captioning. And as soon as you do so, in the right-hand side, you can see new web sock con socket connection has been made. That's because I already have this all set up, but you will be able to do that by the end of this video. What happens is, is Web Captioner is able to take what you're saying from a audio source on your computer directly into Google Chrome. Chrome is the best, but other browsers work. And it can actually connect directly to OBS and send all of these transcripts with your live stream. And those live streams can then have the, the CC, the closed caption little icon available on YouTube and Facebook will start working during your live streams. And not only that, but you can when you stop captioning or you're done captioning, you can actually download the transcripts, keep them for your own purposes, maybe a blog post, maybe something was said, maybe you're, you'd like to have a transcript of what the guest said for your website. Very powerful stuff. And there's some tips you can use to add live captions to OBS. So I'm gonna walk you through it, but you can always refer to their integration options here. And they've got this great integration which requires OBS WebSockets. So I told you guys we were going to use WebSockets for a couple different plugins. This is one of them. You do need to install WebSockets on your Mac, Windows, or Linux computer. And that is available in OBS to connect to software like Web Captioner. So once you've installed Web Captioner, you get this WebSockets ser server. And this server can be used to allow third-party applications to control OBS. And in this case, Web Captioner is actually sending closed captions to OBS to use with their live streams. As soon as your live stream is just integrated in. So once Web Captioner is set up, you basically have a port number and you have a password. And I like to just use P-A-S-S, -S, pass, or my password. Boom. The port number is 444. The password is P-A-S-S. -S. Click OK. Go over to Web Captioner. I'm already signed in. But if you go to your settings, one of the things you'll notice is there's a channels button. And I already have my OBS Studio channel configured. But essentially, the OBS channel allows you to put in your port number and your password, hit update, and boom, it establishes a WebSocket connection from Web Captioner to OBS. That's all you have to do, and now closed captions are, will be streamed with any supported destination. And there's quite a long list of Dex destinations that you can use for this. You can also, of course, change the font, the text family, and the background, the alignment. They've really put a lot of effort into this. And you may want to choose the background to, like, let's say green. And the reason why would be because you might want to, and by the way, I'm colorblind, that might be more yellow than green, but you might want to do a screen capture of your closed captions and then actually embed them onto OBS. So you would go into OBS, you would open a window capture here. Where do we have our window capture? Window capture. We're going to choose Chrome there. We're going to go ahead and fit it in here. And then what we would do is we would just chroma key out the background and we would get live transcriptions on top of our 
video broadcast. But honestly, I don't think that is what most people honestly want. I think what most people want is to have the transcripts sent over their live stream directly to the content delivery network like YouTube or Facebook. That's the big value in my mind. But still, we can go to filters and we can crop off the pieces of this that we don't need. Go to the crop pad and we'll crop off most of the top. I'm going to choose like a thousand off the top. So we really don't need much of the top. There we go. And the bottom, we'll take 200 off the bottom. Yeah, that's just about right. And now we'll add a color key to it. Boom. Wish I wasn't color. If I wasn't colorblind, this would look a lot better. But we're going to go ahead and pretend. Boom. There we go. If I wasn't colorblind, I got the colors perfect. This would look a lot better, obviously. Um, you could tweak it to, to look a lot better using this color keypad. It's really about choosing the right color. And then those will, will show up on top of your live stream. So this is a great way to not only make your videos more accessible to a larger audience, but it's actually good for SEO. When you're live streaming, all the words that you're saying are created in a transcript file and made available to Facebook and YouTube, which they can then translate to other languages. So it's really powerful stuff. Plus, you may find yourself in a position where those who are hard of hearing would like to see lower third transcripts, maybe for a job that you're working on or other accessible application. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you think about Web Captioner in the comments below.